Hey everyone, it's me, Banks, and I am back with another protective style personality unit, and we're going blonde this time. You know, do blondes really have more fun? We'll see. And so this wig is by Yolissa Hair, and this is my first time actually wearing a Yolissa Hair unit. My package did come with some gifted lashes, a really cute wig sleeve, great for traveling and storing your wigs, and it also did come with this HD wig cap, which I really am starting to like, especially for the summertime, a melting elastic band for your lace wig and also this edge and comb brush and it also came with a satin kind of like scarf here and this wig also has an adjustable elastic band this is the Ulyssa hair p4 613 wear and go body 5x5 lace closure wig and this is in 22 inches so this is how the wig came and looked straight out of the box it has some really pretty classic curls and the highlights are really pretty too that's what attracted me to this wig because i was like oh that'll be a cute little slimmer wig let's see what this belt <laughs> so the knots on this wig are fairly small but i do not believe they're bleach so that may be something that you might want to do the lace is pre-cut and pre-plugged and you may want to tweeze more for your liking and what was different about this wig is that there aren't any combs anywhere on this wig so normally there might be one at the nape at the top of the cap also so the only thing that is helping me out because this wig was a little big was you can attach the elastic band in the loop holes in the back so this is a 5x5 lace closure which i really appreciate lace closure wigs because they are wear and go and give you no fuss and you can go glueless so once i unbox wigs i always kind of analyze the wig make sure everything is good and what i noticed with this wig it was a little orange for my liking so i knew right then and there i was like yeah let's tone it so I'm, i took some shimmer lights um which is a balancing shampoo and i mixed it with my moisturizing shampoo that i like using on my wigs and then i did condition it with the red King color extend and so it toned everything down and it gave it a really nice you know cooler effect that i was looking for because before it was just a little too orange for my liking especially when it comes to blondes so this kind of evened everything out toned everything back down a little bit so then i flat ironed the wig after it air dried and this is how it looks when it's flat ironed really nice and soft and so i'm gonna go ahead and put on the hd wig cap and i've really been loving these hd wig caps like they lay really nice because it's so hot out here right now and you don't want to like a really heavy wig cap so with these the band is a bit thicker so i do try to make sure that's as flat as possible and also this wig cap was a little large for me so i twisted everything up and i took the remaining cap underneath the nape and i'm just gonna bobby pin it right there but if you were to do the ball cap method with this wig cap i really could see that like really slaying but I don't because I like to take my wigs off every night and I am going to put on some foundation on this wig cap just to help blend everything in when I do put the wig on. So this does have the elastic band that I did put on and I adjusted it like this because this wig was a little large on me. <laughs> so I needed to really depend on this elastic band. I'm also going to put on some foundation on the closure. And so the last band really saved me, I will say, because this wig was a little large. So having the adjustable elastic band helped me really, you know, be able to wear this wig and have it be secure. So I'm just adjusting this and I'm looking around. I'm like, all right, because I knew I wanted a side part with this unit and I wanted to keep it straight because the curls just weren't for me. <laughs> So I just decided to flat iron this hair. I do have this iron on 410 degrees and I'm doing the chase method. And for the heat protectant, I am using Cure Care Silk and Seal. So I'm just taking my time in sections. The hair feels really good. You know, sometimes with blonde hair, you kind of are worried that it will feel very fried. And this is really nice, soft, and just moisturized feeling as well. So it was, it was feeling really nice and smooth, nothing crusty or dusty. <laughs> so it just flat ironed really well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to flat iron to get the results that I'm looking for. So with this unit, you can do baby hair. You cannot if you don't wish to do that, but I'm gonna keep it baby hair list. And I'm also gonna keep this glueless, but I will say that if you do decide to, I was just trying to get into it, okay. <laughs> um, if you do decide to glue this down, I would suggest it just because it will just give it even more flawless look. And I will say the lace on this unit is nice and thin. 
So in order to get this wig to lay how I wish it to lay, I'm just going to take this hot comb and just hit the roots a bit. And there was a bit of extra lace that I wanted to remove from the front of the closure area just because I'm trying to remain glueless and I want to make sure that everything lays nice and flat. But what I will say about this closure, I kind of wish um, the wig was a little more pre-plucked. So to get the look look that you would want, you would definitely have to tweeze. So that's why I was putting some extra foundation near the hairline there of lace. So yeah, but for now, I really think this works well for me because I like to remain my wigs glueless. But at the roots, I felt like I wanted a darker root. So I decided to put a little bit of black foundation, I mean eyeshadow, <laughs> um, powder eyeshadow near the parting because I knew I wanted the parting to pop a little bit more. And I knew if the root was a little darker, I would be able to achieve that better. So I'm just taking my time and just brushing in the eyeshadow just to kind of like get, I guess it's called that drop root look. So yeah, it's, it's coming together. I took my time with this. Because, you know, I used to be in art school. <laughs> no, I went to art camp one time. So, I, I know a little bit about shading and stuff. <laughs> so, I'm just going to shade that in. Try to blend it out a little bit more so I won't have a harsh line. And I sprayed some hairspray on this and then combed it through. So, it gave me more of the look that I was going for. And so, then I'm going to put some concealer into the parting area and blend that out. But then I realized, ooh, my part's a little too wide. And I didn't want to give Grand Canyon, so I decided to close up the part using a flat brush. And just kind of like sculpted out my parting just to shape everything up and close that part a bit. Yes, more hairspray. I like the Sebastian Shaper Plus on my wigs because it gives it a really nice soft touchable hold. You don't want anything like crunchy. <laughs> so it's starting to give what I wanted it to give. And I feel like the darker root area kind of goes better with my skin tone. So yeah, I'm just kind of like playing in this hair, making sure that I like this length. And I decided I wanted to put a little layer in the front just to give it more movement, more character. And it's feeling like Barbie right now. It's feeling like early 2000s because this color and the way the highlights are placed kind of reminds me of like the early 2000s where... The chunkier highlights was in style and I think it's really coming back too. So I am going to cut the ends. I want them a little more blunt because on this wig it did taper a bit but I wanted a more a heavier um, blunt ends. So I like that. So that's cute. So I'm just kind of making sure that I'm liking how everything is laying. I do think um, I will be cutting a little more of the lace off on the very sides. But overall, this wig flat ironed really well. I don't have any shedding. But what I will say, I, the hair does gather a little bit near the nape area. That is what I experienced. Um, but so far, I don't have any tangles anywhere else. So I do like that I'm able to go glueless with this wig. And I like that I can do that because I didn't do the baby hair kind of styled lace edges part um so i just feel like this would be great for me just to put on and go especially for those days when i need a protective style and i also think this would be a great beginner wig because this is a closure wig and once you actually wash condition and you know press out the hair it's really easy and manageable just to throw on and go especially if you're a busy person on the go and perfect for the summer because it's a closure wig so you don't have to mess with you know you know a frontal and trying to make that way too so right here, I'm just bumping the ends, just a little bump, just to have a little bend to that layer that I put. But overall, the hair is really soft. I really like how this looks after I toned it with the shampoo and conditioner. It has a more toned down cool look, which is what I was looking for. And the only thing that I would suggest to the company when it comes to blonde wigs, especially with people who are darker complexion just to drop the root just a little bit just because i just think it looks more natural let me know in the comments below if you agree <laughs> but yeah it's fun to be blonde and play with some colors especially <laughs>